This is for the players. Hey, there it is. I'm Ryan Betson. I'm Josh Saunders. And this is for the players, the pop culture as PlayStation podcast. The 40 years of playing PlayStation and almost eight Fuck, years in that games media quickly. combined. We want to throw our hat in the ring and join that PlayStation conversation. This PlayStation conversation normally happens at a 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on a Monday, but it's happening today live. This is a live show as Ryan changes that. And 8 a.m on iTunes and all the other podcast services. If you'd like to be a part of that conversation, please join us on Facebook, join us on Discord, comment below. If you're feeling generous, join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash popculturist. Head over there, check out the tiers. There might be something there that interests you. Lee Stevenson, it's full of players. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to show the love for the pop culturist on your body, head to thepopculturist.com slash shop where you can buy shirts like this, like that. Still no hats, but there's a bunch of cool things that we can do. As I mentioned, we are Twitch affiliated at twitch.tv slash thepopculturist. Go there, give to follow, watch as we stream some games. We say on YouTube. But live. we say live on YouTube. Go follow us on Twitch, hey? Yeah, <laughs> why not? But as Josh said, this is a different episode. We are recording this live on June the 2nd as part of our 12 hour celebratory live stream where we are. Uh, just having some fun, raise, playing some games and raising some money for a local Geelong organization called Gen U and their applied video gaming program. The amazing people in our community so far, we're just three hours deep, have already donated uh, 300, 400. $465, is it? Yes. $465. Holy shit. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Lee says a 40 second delay makes him look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yes, if you do want to also help uh, Gen U and the Applied Gaming Program, where they're using the power of video games to help those with mental challenges and disabilities, that link will be in the description. You can also help us join the cause. Hey, how are you, man? Swell. How's the things? Great. Yeah, I'm all fucking weird energy from like... It's just really hot in here. It is so hot in here. It's not made for five people. No. It's not. It's, body it's barely made for two. <laughs> As oh, if anything, fuck, I hate when you if anything, that. this stream has taught me that um, we need a big table and, yeah. and a big room. I don't think the rooms are the issue. It's ventilation. Because mm. well, we're only in here for short bursts. So we just kind of lock the doors down and we walk away. I'm sweating chips. Yeah. <laughs> mm. What have you been playing this week, man? Wow. Oh, wow. The game. Wow. It's yeah. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Better walk off. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, every week you're like, what am I? I'm like, wow. And it's like, well... I can tell you what I've been doing, but you won't care because mm-hmm. you won't understand any mm-hmm. of it. So I'm like, well, how deep do I go into what I've been doing in the I'm World sure, of I'm sure people out there will want to be interested. Still, I'm trying out all my characters to decide for the expansion what I want to do. Mm-hmm. So I'm currently smashing on my warrior. Actually, so, um, we're not, we're, so we've got the chat there. We will address it here and there. But um, Sam's got a good point. I imagine these fucking things just trap heat in. Yeah, probably. Yep. Poor color scheme. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so what have you been doing well? Uh, lovely, not lovely my warrior playing my warrior mm-hmm. trying to figure out do I like him anymore do I not like the changes I do like him but I'm also playing my shaman paladin demon hunter death knight monk and rogue and a little bit of warlock it's like a whole seven different classes yeah well there's 12 in the game and I've got eight of them mm-hmm. at max level so I might just work on the rest of them a little bit very nice really. just so when the expansion drops I'm like this one I don't have to fuck around in old yeah. content and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I do. I am planning to play Attack on Titan 2 on the PS4. I've got a copy. Yep. I'm, I'm thank ready thank to you re- very much to Kat at the team at Eternal Distribution. Um, was supposed to be a giveaway, but I gave it away to Josh. Sam says, why should I buy Way Out? Because you will not need to buy another video game ever. And it's as good as heroin. It saves you money. Mm. Because you pay $15 <clears throat> a month, which if you play enough, you can do that, pay that with WoW Gold, and you don't want to play anything else. BFI doesn't interest me yet, says Lee. It's at the point now, okay, quick bit of WoW history. There's been a fair few points in the last couple of expansions where the Alliance and Horde have to come together Mm -hmm. to defeat... A common enemy. Giant world enemy boss X. And now this expansion is all focused on the Alliance and Horde fucking trying to kill each other again. It's like, we've been through so much. Like, from an RP perspective, it's like, why would we want to do this? At this point, we've mm. done so much together, and it's like, it seems kind of forced. This, I know, like, WoW is always about to align, Alliance v. Horde. No, that's what it is. But it's at the point in the story where it's like, it maybe shouldn't be that to that extent anymore, to have a whole expansion focused around it. But we'll see. It's just an enjoyable game to play. What about you? Um, my week is about the same as normal. Uh, chipping away more at that uh, 
that God of War Platinum. You must be close by now. I'm very close. Like I'm literally, I literally have just, ha- I just have to get, um, Ravens, the Ravens mm. and the treasures. That's it. Everything else is done. So now it's just systematically going through each section and clearing things out. Mm-hmm. Um, I was thinking about having it ready to go here for the stream so that I could probably you know get a platinum on stream, but uh, I totally didn't. So well, there's no way to really judge how long it's yeah. going to take. Because even if I got even if I got everything up until the Valkyrie and then fought the Valkyrie and one on the stream, who knows whether I'd even do that? Yeah, what um, if you couldn't kill the Valkyrie? Yeah, well, I'll be fucked. Yeah, wouldn't I? <laughs> um, and on top of that, I did jump into uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Mm-hmm. Um, that game is a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. I'm not very good at it. Um, That's a given. Yep, it's a given. Mm-hmm. So because I'm when I play a lot of shooters, I'm so used to um, the environment not trying to fuck you around. So like a wall is a wall. No questions ah. asked. So I'm like camping in a corner. I'm like, I barricaded all the doors. I'm like, <laughs> wall. <And> then, <laughs> <laughs> the wall's like, fuck you, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. And, and then some guy comes blasting through the wall and just ruins me. Yeah. And I have like zero, like zero survival chance. Get stomped. I'm like, oh, damn it. It all comes with time. You'll learn it. And then I get learn. an email the next day from uh, one of the PR guys at Ubisoft who jumped into the stream. He's like, hey, man, saw you get stomped in uh, <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege last night. Would like to see it again. <laughs> and he's like, nice work. I'm like, that was against the computer. Thank you very much. Was it really? <laughs> yeah. Man. Actually, no, I got, stomp- I got stomped on both, so it was fine. Um, yeah. You get stomped all around then. Yeah, it's oh. getting destroyed. Mm. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a lot of fun, you know, because it is three years in the making now, so like, I think it's... Diving in now is probably a really good way because, uh, you know, you sort of seeing all the benefits it's balanced the bug fixes are done yeah. and all that kind of stuff now there are, there are I think there's new expansions coming out sort of re- like in the near future as well so it'll be pretty cool but other than that like, I've, I've been mostly prepping for this mm. and doing some other shit so like, I haven't really been able to play a lot of games this week Plus, it's, but you're making quiet. up for that today yeah I'm playing so many games yeah. today it's been quiet but you already played Mario Kart <clears throat> Rocket League, uh, not Rocket League. Uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Uh, rotation, rotation, Fortnite. Mm-hmm. Uh, million dollars, butt, and then later we've got after this we have an E3 predictions video. Yeah. And then when you are playing Rocket League, mm-hmm. then it is solo, I believe, for Popcorn Sports. Yeah. And then we're playing a bunch and of random games. Siege. And There's so many different yeah. games going on for the next twelve hours. It's it's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, like that's what I've been doing at this point. Because like I said, I've I know there are games coming out, games coming out every week but there's nothing that's jumping at me now. After I finish Detroit, I'm pretty quiet until, say, E3, when they may say, if there's something coming out in the next month or so, mm. but nothing is jumping out at me that I need to play. Well, there's not, really. The yeah. drop might change that later. The drop might have something interesting mm. in there. It's always sneaky. Keep on moving. Oh, and then after we talk about what we've been playing, we jump into the news where we tell you about the PlayStation uh, news that's happened this week in a section we call Inform the Players. I can tell when you've just forgotten that it's this is your segue to <laughs> like look at me, let's let's keep going. Come on, Josh, do it. You fucking idiot. We got about six bits of news this week, some big, some small. Number one, God of War is on its way to racking up one billion views on YouTube in record time. Holy shit. Since its release on April 20, data analyst Matchmade reports that God of War has amassed 728 million views on YouTube by the end of the month. If it maintains mm. this momentum off on the platform, it'll be on track to break one billion views by June or July, making it the fastest game to reach a milestone in YouTube history. So now that is weird. So my it, question is, how do they do that? Do they just search God of War and see how many... <laughs> <laughs> Some poor fucking intern just adding up every... Yeah. On a good note, we've contributed like 20,000 views of that. <laughs> um, thanks to... You know, thanks, Humble brag. <laughs> thanks to the um, unboxing and the... the PlayStation. And the PlayStation. Ethan's beautiful PlayStation with the axe. Up there. Yeah. There's some Portuguese channel stumbled across it. Got mm. a, we got a nice little bunch of comments in Portuguese. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Mm. So I watched the video. I'm like, I've no idea what you said, but you seem to like it. <laughs> but Thanks. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Give the little so love I comment. Heart. I comment. And I'm like, thanks, man. A little love heart on YouTube. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, thanks. Uh, but it is also like, weird's not the right word, but because it's such a you know single player story driven game, for it to be amassing that amount of views so quickly is a bit strange because mm-hmm. it doesn't have that big multiplayer pull, obviously, but. People care. People obviously care. What are you doing on your phone? David's messaging me. Oh, fuck, he can come in. Yeah, he could come in. Dave, just pop your head in, man. Uh, cool. He's essentially saying that we haven't given away shit in a while, so we're going to give away some Jess shit. Jess is while doing it right now. Oh, is she? Dope. That's what all the thanks in the chat are for. Um, I've been ignoring the chat. Moving on. Moving on. Gfinity Esports Australia is teaming up with Network 10 
to bring the GFINITY oh, AU Elite Series to free-to-air TV, showing all Rocket League matches on one. Online viewership will be handled exclusively with Twitch. The GFINITY Elite Series, which ki- kicks off this weekend with the Counter-Strike Global Offensive Competition, has entered into a part... Yeah, this weekend went. we're recording now. Uh, has entered a partnership with Network 10 to broadcast their Rocket League competition on one each Sunday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Australian Standard Time. Uh, all matches, including CSGO and Street Fighter 5 competitions, air simultaneously on twitch.tv slash GFINITYAU. Broadcasting out of the GFINITY Hoyts Esports Arena in Sydney's Moore Park, which also opens now weekend. The competition <laughs> will also allow spectators to attend live with tickets on Salvoy or Hoyts website. And then there's a big quote like, yeah, we like esports and we want to do all the things. That's cool as beans. That is rad. I bet you when I said Rocket League, Dave's ears perked up a little bit there. <laughs> uh, but it's cool to have not only an esports arena in Australia, also the arguably the biggest channel in Australia, Network 10 on, mm-hmm. on 1. Uh, and it's not, it's not a dead slot either. <clears throat> I mean, Sunday 10 to 1 it's pretty good, really. I mean, everyone's off work. Everyone can tune in. It's not like it's on a Thursday night at 11 p.m. or anything like, like that. Like screenplay. Thanks, yeah. Seven, mate. Yeah, thanks, Seven, mate. Uh, so they're doing cool things. There's a chair there. Be careful, Dave. Hey, man. What's up, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ethan's coming in with... The first completed controller. Sam Vanderlee, so, you still in the chat, dude? All right, so... So this is going to be the runner-up. Yep, sounds good. Okay, so we should also mention that we are... Oh, it's over there. Just uh, a break of normal show, because we're going to have Sam... Uh, Sam, we're going to have Ethan come in and talk about his Assassin's Creed uh, controller that he has uh, built uh, for uh, Sam Vanderley as a winner. And I'm going to jump over here. So apologies on the, the yeah break of, a, break of regular structure. That's the point. Hey, guys. So for those who don't know, this is Ethan from Technology and Gaming. He's the one that helped make my awesome PlayStation. Yes, uh, my beautiful axe. I love that axe so much. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, So yeah, I just finished the, literally just put the final screw in it then. The Assassin's Creed Origins controller is now complete. Those that you're on it, what, an hour and a half ago? Saw it at the start levels of painting. Uh, But it is now completed stages of painting. So I did all the, I added a few more shades of brown just to break up the original sand color that I painted down. And then darkened up the cracks and then did a gold on the inside of the hieroglyphics and for the Assassin's Creed Origins logo. Who won that? Uh, Sam. I don't know Sam's last name. Vanderly. Vanderly. And those runes say... Sam. They say Sam. They're hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs. They're not runes. Can't runes. Touch. Get your fucking mythologies right. <laughs> <One Yeah. job>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's turned out well. Uh, I left all the buttons and that as stock just so it makes it easier to play because painting buttons I've got a ye- had a yellow set of buttons that I was thinking about changing out but they just look dicky so yeah. sometimes you just can't beat and stock. as Sam being a control collector perfect man to win this and he's going to have a damn yes. good time is he still in the chat or is he had to go uh, I don't know I'm thinking he may have bounced that's alright right. so he, he just missed the, me showing it off before <laughs> and then yeah, he did. I come in and show like it completed like 10 minutes after you showed yeah, the first exactly. update and someone else. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck him. Someone else gets it now. So I'm now going to go finish. I've got, what's the time now? 3 o'clock, so nearly 3.30. So I've got two hours to finish the Dead Rising one before I have to bounce. Yep. Cause I've got to paint and you have paint on your face. Make, make sure you get that off before you, before you go Not fly. surprising. It's messy work, man. <laughs> I've also got paint on my shirt, oh, there on my is. hands. There he is. There's Sam Vanderlee. Had to wee. Guess oh, what? Do you want to hold it up again? Merry Christmas, Sam. This is your beautiful controller. No, Dylan. Just no. <laughs> That's out of control. Thanks, Dylan. What? So what? So with the with the <laughs> idea you're going for like a like a block of stone from a from one of the bring it closer. Oh uh, yeah. So from the idea the pyramids. is a, a pyramid <laughs> brick, and then obviously in the I don't know not obviously but in bricks I guess they carve stuff. So I made sure I carved every detail in rather than painting it on. Mm-hmm. So all the hieroglyphs and all the cracks and that are actually carved directly into the controller. So it's got the 3D feel. And same with the Assassin's Creed logo, it's all carved in. Very so nice. So I left it slightly rough in the carved area, so it looked like it's actually been like chiselled in, because you're not going to end up with like a silky smooth. It won't be very surface. clean, though. No. Yeah. Cool. Um, but nice. yeah, that's that's that. I just got to clear coat it, but that takes a while, and then we're done. Very nice. Yeah. Congratulations to Sam. Cheers, man. I'm going to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> so we are, we'll be giving away other things throughout the day. So now we should mention all our giveaways are. Uh, only available to those that are based out of Australia just because of region coding and whatnot. Um, so later on we're getting into our E3 predictions so whoever has the best E3 prediction in our opinion gets themselves a copy of Detroit Become Human
Nice. Uh, and then whoever's runner-up gets his lovely PlayStation 1 coasters. I thought they were the actual games. No. Oh, are they cool coasters anyway? They are very cool coasters. Should also mention that they'll be available for the people watching live. You know, By the time this goes up, competition's over. So. That's correct. So, um, sorry about that. But yes. <laughs> Sam's been spamming the chat. <laughs> um, esports cool. The esports very cool. Like I said, I liked their... Because one, when I remember one was originally launched, it was supposed to be like a sports channel. Mm. And then it kind of went away from that. I'm glad it's coming back a yeah, bit. That's, that's good. good. Very and, cool. you know, as we've said a few times now, Rocket League is a perfect game to do that. Um, car soccer. Yep. People can understand it. The rules are pretty simple. Gameplay has a good skill curve. Yeah, and it's real, and like it's really cool to watch people do some really yeah. cool trick shots. The aerial stuff, man. Yeah, I'm worried Dave's gonna get me later with some of that stuff, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see how we go. We'll see. Uh, details on the next installment of the Assassin's Creed franchise were leaked and were later confirmed by Ubisoft. French site Je Video Live via Kotaku said the next installment in the series will be called Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Sources confirmed to Kotaku that this next entry in the franchise will take place in ancient Greece and that it will be released before the end of the Ubisoft fiscal year 2019, which ends March 31st of next year. According to Kotaku, Odyssey is set to be an even more significant departure for the series in the last year's Assassin's yeah, last year's Assassin's Creed Origins. Mm -hmm. While Origins altered the combat, Odyssey will also introduce dialogue options, a first for the series. Odyssey will also reportedly allow players to choose between male and female protagonists, and although the game is supposedly a sequel to Origins, it will reportedly introduce new heroes instead of returning to the Origins Bayek and Aya. Greece is cool, man. Yeah, but Greece like, is a cool city, like Spartans and stuff. See, my concern is now, I understand games don't take more than a year to be made, but my concern was that they, they took time away to sort of refocus the franchise and tweak it and make it better and they're falling back into the old habit half and half yeah, but like 18 uh, months instead of two years I mean come on yeah but come on like it's like it's not even 18 months it'll literally be a year because if this is coming like, it came out in what October last year yeah. and it comes out March no up to next. March well, yeah within the fiscal year so it could drop November it could drop October the thing is though is that <clears throat> I think a lot a lot of what they did with Origins would have been under the counter stuff you know messing with the engine and all that mm -hmm. they wouldn't have had to do that with this I think a lot of it they can go yep yeah, we'll take that coding and that coding and that. We've, they've skipped half the work possibly I don't know potentially potentially so uh, I'm not too fast really yeah my, con my concerns are, are, is that it will we'll be back where we were with the burnout of Assassin's Creed very, and the, the thing is because people have already been burnt out it's really easy for them to get burnt out again it's much easier so I think the turnaround time rather than 15 games people get burnt out it might be Five games, people get burnt out again. Jump in the gun a little bit, I think. It's a dangerous balance. Fallout 76 has been announced by Bethesda. It's not yet clear what kind of game Fallout 76 will be or which of Bethesda studios have been involved in developing it. Do we know that yet or not? Uh, we don't know, but it's, uh, we, it's believed that it may be the studio that they picked up recently. Mm -hmm. Battle uh, Cry? However, Fallout 76 is currently available for pre-order, because of course it is, suggesting it will not be a free-to-play game on PC, Xbox One and PS4. The titular Vault 76 has previously been mentioned but never seen in previous Fallout games. A control vault containing 500 occupants living in Vault 76 doesn't appear to involve the cruel experiments most vaults in the series have been known for. It's also not clear where Vault 76 is located, but the song user in, used in the teaser, Take Me Home Country Roads, does mention West Virginia, which could be a clue. Prior Fallout Law also gives us a clue about Fallout 76's setting. So, th in the... In the lore of Fallout of uh, Vault seventy six, they talk about the greater western, the greater, the greater Washington area, which is like West Virginia is just to the uh, west of Washington. So like it's within the, it's in within the same locale, but it all depends on how whether they want to retcon what already exists for seventy six. But the on the rim mill as well. So from Jason Schreier, who is a known rad person with knowledge um, with contacts with contacts he's mentioned that it's a survival game in the same vein of uh, like rust and those sort of things so I think the whole idea is where this where this is set this is set 25 years after the bombs dropped um, it was the big nuclear fallout so I, I, I think taking in from what Fallout 4 has done in terms of the uh, community building and the people management I think it's heading down that line that's what the, the game the whole will be. game is just rescuing settlements yeah so it'll uh, pretty much be like State of Decay sort of shit but Fallout oh. I think Fallout aesthetic will yeah. work because of course it, it'll the wasteland, work. whether it's a good game, who knows? Of course it'll work. It but may, is that needed? Yeah, but it may suffer really the same fate so. as you know Metal Gear Survive. Although Metal Gear is a much more beloved franchise than Fallout, um, 
comparative, you know, the, the, the hype for Metal Gear is insane. Um, I don't think it'll get as much backlash, but I don't think it will do fantastic. But I also did predict, like, this is the problem. Same as Assassin's Creed. Although we're going to get to our predictions very shortly, uh, I also predicted that there would be no Fallout, no Fallout or Elder Scrolls, or no Assassin's Creed this year. But you didn't publicly say that. No, but I wrote my my list about a month ago Mm. to be like, okay, cool, this is my list. And then as we're going, everything's just getting crossed out. Except Elder Scrolls. Yeah, I still don't know about that one. PS Plus games for June 2018. Uh, For PS4, you'll get Trials Fusion and XCOM 2. Yes. XCOM 2 is dope. X-tom- XCOM is amazing. Cam's frozen. Cam's frozen. Oh, no. Oh, it is. Bear with us while we fix up the camera here. Hey. <sighs> it's putting in the hard yards today, man. It is. It's, it's, it's going for stonks. 12 hours. Uh, yeah, XCOM is... Ma- I played the first XCOM for a lot. I didn't quite want to pull the trigger on XCOM 2, but it obviously it's free now. PS3, you'll get Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier and Zombie Driver HD. And for the Vita, you'll get Squares and Atomic Ninjas. Uh, no best-selling games for this week. It hasn't been published yet by PlayStation Australia, so oh, that's fine. Just check then? Yeah, I just checked then. Um, we should have mentioned that... One uh, and two are Detroit and God of War. Yeah. In some order. Yeah. Um, we should also mention that PlayStation are having the uh, State of Play going on right now where the controls are going cheap as well as that limited edition ps4 slim the blue one with the gold sacred Ooh. symbols on the front very cool very mm. cool indeed okay okay that's it this is your oh, segue. This is my segue that's it for the news ryan as we have a chat to the players about sony's e3 2018 mm. press conference and what it will entail so at time of recording e3 is literally two weeks away so as <laughs> You're not allowed to see That's fair. So as we do, we're going to throw around, uh, around our, our our predictions. We will have some that are uh, very accurate, th- that we'll kind of win trophies for, because we do have a trophy. Yeah, but, but I thought it was a point-based system, so we can oh, only have the same based. amount. Yes. I've got five for Sony. We've got five. Okay, well, I'll, I'll pick five out of you got, like, list. eight pages. I've, no, I have that Nintendo, Bethesda, Square, Xbox, there's PlayStation. <laughs> this, was, this is what I was writing at work. What the fuck?! This is what I was writing at work. What made you think from work. last year where we had three each? No, 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 no. Hey, I sat. I just sat down and wrote everything that came to my brain of what could have been a prediction. Right, but you didn't filter out. I haven't filtered anything yet, so I haven't even checked whether uh, any of these are not true. Well, you're gonna have to wing it then. I'm gonna wing it. So what do you want? How do you back and forth? Yeah, backwards and forwards. Well, you start. All right. Um, give me, let's give me kick one. Kicking off. Mine's a nice, easy one. I think is very likely. I believe days gone. Mm-hmm. We'll get itself a release date. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, yeah, D- I forgot. Dylan. We should forget Dylan is off camera. He's being the adjudicator. Uh, his job is to write down our predictions for us to... Uh, yeah, I also have that. You also have that? Because yeah. um, I think it's a given. Yeah, I, I, point, I think yeah? the release date for Days Gone is, is going to happen. Um, <laughs> and Legion's in not another hashtag project Scorpio Gate. Yeah, that fucking... I still won. That dicked me over Dylan last year. Because it wasn't announced... Because it was announced as Xbox... Uh, one, one, one X, X. not yeah, Scorpio. Yeah, that's right. He, got, he caught me on semantics. You still won anyway. I so. did still win. Um, yeah, so to add to this, Dylan, my first prediction is Days Gone will get a release date and it'll be Q1 20, oh, 2019. Oh, you want to filter it down that yep. way? Q1 2019 uh, next year. 2019, so that's anywhere between January and March. What I'm going to agree on a Days Gone release date. Yeah. This is not one of your but predictions. You just no, this oh, is one oh, of my predictions. Oh, okay, shit. But okay. it will be quarter four, 2018. Do you think it's coming out this year? Man, I'd be very happy for it. Sony haven't done year. that for a very well, long... Well, like, well, it's out in two months. No, they've, they've not really done that. Like, I think it's so ready we get to... get Spider-Man in... August. August? No, September. September. November. The quarter is, four. The problem is this year is very backloaded. We've got, like, Red Dead Redemption. Of course, we've got the new Battlefield, the new... Uh, uh, Call of Duty. Different games for different people. Different games for people. I agree with that. I think Days Gone is... I think the problem with Days Gone is that it is going to be niche. Like, we know what it is. We know who Sony Bend are. So, I'm like, I'm really excited for the game personally. But I think the average person is not going to have that I don't excitement. Th- I wouldn't really call it niche. I don't think... No one cares who fucking makes... The casual consumer doesn't care mm. who makes the game. Um, they just see a game trailer and they go, that looks cool. Yeah. But so I think there's too many big things around it. To make quarter four dangerous. Apparently, Sony Ice Days Gone was delayed until 2019. So, bah! there you go. Uh, Josh's prediction's already done. Ah uh, no no! <laughs> it could be a fake out. 
It could be a fake. So you're, you're, you're gonna you're gonna still st- stick with stick it. Stick strong with it. Stay strong with it. Stay All strong right. with it. Uh, it's your turn again. Uh, <laughs> my <laughs> next one is. See you. You're not even ready. Like you. You should look. Be no, because some, look, some, look, look, some of these are kind of bad. Like I said, no mention of hardware, and then three days later they're like, we're not doing it. So why did you cross it out? I haven't looked at this since then. Um, I think Rocksteady will come in and announce their new title. Mm. And it will what? be a DC property with the trailer, like all the things. Big mm, shebang. No, just uh, just, just an announcement. What's the game? Uh, a DC property. Is that what? It's like the Sims in Metropolis. DC property. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. DC real estate. <laughs> it's gonna build Luther it's, Corp over yeah, here. Yeah, it's uh, si- uh, city skylines, but in DC. <laughs> no, no. It's yeah. Rocksteady will <coughs> Rocksteady will announce the new title, and it will be within the DC universe. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know. What do you mean? I look. It's also very unlikely they'll do another DC game because they have openly stated they don't want to do any more DC games. So it's a risk. Yeah, it's a risk there, Joshua. It's Joker Origins. <laughs> <laughs> um, there, there is that still rumor of that Arkham Insurgency, but I think that's that was rumored to come from um, someone else. WB, someone yeah, WB else. Montreal. <clears throat> so, and, and that's very risky. Uh, their show will open with the orchestra. For Ghosts of Tsushima. Okay. I think it's the perfect game for an orchestra. You know, mm-hmm. really beautiful Japanese, all the wind flutes and all that kind of stuff. Um, we don't really know much. About, I think it'd be dumb for them. There's not much else they can really open with. They're not going to do Days Gone because they'll be laughed out of the auditorium. Can't do Death Stranding. Mm. Last of Us is way too far out to be given that kind of treatment. Spider-Man's already got a date. Doesn't it doesn't need to show anything else. So it's pretty much all they've got left, I think, to open a show with. I disagree because PlayStation have a pattern the last couple of years where they open with something that you know, and then the second thing is something that you that you that you're unsure on. But what would they open with? I'd say Spider Man, then go Ghost of Tsushima. They wouldn't open. With. It's out in four months. I don't think giving it the first slot at E3 is a maybe they'll show something cool like Green Goblins in there, Venom's or something in there. I don't know. Who cares? Not a prediction. Who cares? No, Ghost of Tsushima will open the show with the orchestra. Uh, we will see footage of the Medieval Remaster, and that game is coming out this year. Ooh. I disagree with that. Oh, why is that? I don't think it'll be coming out this year. <coughs> yeah, I think that's the thing that's going to kill me. That's what's going to shoot you in the foot. Yeah. You, could, you could have just said, footage of Medieval, and there's your point. Well, Dylan no, you can't has a now. fucking cry if I get vague, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run that risk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think with the announcement of last year at PSX, depending on what they're doing, I although I don't think it may be what Vicarious Visions is working on. I'm not too sure because uh, they did such a good job with Crash. But I think they're working. They're not working. No, because they're not. Spyro is being done by Toys for Bob. So my cons- I can, my brain just went. Wait, they're doing Spyro, but they're not doing Spyro. I mm. think that'll be fine. <coughs> mm-hmm. You ready, Dylan? Yeah. There will not be any new AAA first party games announced very likely period yeah. i think they've they've we've known their whole hand for probably since e3 last year mm-hmm. i don't think they have anything else in the works they've got a good future with the last of us and death stranding and ghost of Tsushima. uh i don't think we'll be getting anything new from their first party house yeah no i agree i'm like Ugh. no i agree i like you know rocksteady might show something at the sony conference but it's not going to be exclusive no, it's not to exclusive, the playstation no, no. 4 so from their their studios well, we won't get anything once new. this discussion we've had a thousand times so in terms of their first party everyone's done something at this point like uh, you know, so we've got it's like Sucker Punch, which they're you know doing Ghost of, Ghost of Tsushima, so they're done. Uh, Santa Monica have just finished uh, God of War; they're not doing anything. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got like Polyphony, which you assume are working on another Gran Turismo. You know, like it's all <laughs> Naughty Dog are doing. Yeah, Naughty Dog are doing Last of Us. That's a given. Kojima is doing. Kojima is doing Kojima things. You know, like <laughs> as in, if you go down that list, there is no space. The only spaces were Sucker Punch and uh, Sony. Uh, Bend. It's only Bend, which we now know from like since last year. So no, I agree with you on that one. I think that's very possible. Uh, let's see. From Software will announce their new game, and it is not Bloodborne Two. I agree on that. Although I think the I love for I think the love for Bloodborne is there, and that will do gangbusters. I don't think that is what it will be. I like the idea of Bloodborne just being a standalone title. Mm-hmm. Just, this is the game, and that's it, without needing to franchise everything. Yep. Uh, but they do have a fair few other... Because the trailer seemed very um, Japanese-y. Mm. I mean, they're a Japanese studio. <laughs> but they do have a lot of uh, 
IPs to their name, which aren't Dark Souls and Bloodborne what? from 15, 20 yeah, what, years ago. Yeah, what, what is it? Um, um, but I've forgotten what they're all called. It's not Shimagami Tensei, that's something else. No, hang on. Uh, from Software. Yeah, but, and, uh, and that's the exact reason why I think, because like From Software have sort of, they've mentioned that the Souls franchise, quote unquote, is sort of done to mm-hmm. them. Um, although Bloodborne doesn't really fit in that, it is still in that wheelhouse and I'd like to see them do something trying else. trying to find the ones I And I think, the ja- I think going down the Japanese line would bring it into line with what Neo was doing and, you know, obviously Neo did really, really well. Mm-hmm. I think it'd be a good market to get into. Uh, they've got <coughs> oh, yeah. uh, Ninja Blade, um, Yosh- Yoshitsune, uh, but there is one big one that I had in mind. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. It was I'm trying to remember what it is. Anyway, yeah. they do have other IPs that they could be revitalizing, so... I don't think it'll be Bloodborne 2. I agree. I'd like it not to be Bloodborne 2, to be honest. But it would be pretty rad, rad if it was, though. It'd be cool, but yeah. Uh, VR will be glossed over. Uh, okay. Um, there won't be... <coughs> at best, VR will get a five-minute highlight reel. Uh, at worst, nothing. How many are we at now each, deal? That should be my fourth, I think. We haven't done five each. Oh, you've done some. Like you agree with things. Yeah, I did. I agree. Oh, they're not I predictions. They're just agreeing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so I'll go through the list. I think we got one more each. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Three each. You should have done four. One. I did that Days one. Gone. Medieval. From Software. Rocksteady. Rocksteady. So we're on, we're one, we got one more each. One more each. Yeah. Um. So yeah, VR. Just we're not going to see anything big and new to make people go mm-hmm. wow. It'll just be. And here's some VR stuff while we get the stuff. Like, like a like else. a little quick, a quick reel. highlight reel at best. Okay. I think they ha- they will have to do something so not to alienate the people that have bought it, but there won't be a lot of effort put into yeah, it. Yeah, like I, I I think Dreams will will come out and have a VR mode, and that that's pro- that'll, that'll probably push the VR side of things. Is that a prediction? Not a prediction. No. Um, I, I think that'll help push that VR side of things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, my final prediction um, is Blue Point will announce a they announce they're working on a PS PS remake, and it is of Demon Souls. Although personally, I would love it to be Metal Gear Solid. I believe it will be Demon Souls. Who's Blue Point again? Blue Point did Shadow of the Colossus and the Nathan uh, Drake um, collection. Right. That's it. Yep, that's, that's it. <laughs> Blue Point will do something. Blue Point will do Demon Souls. Demon Souls. Yeah, exactly Oops, what it is. Blue point. It down yep, there. Demon Souls is what it is. Knock on wood. Servers got shut down just recently. People still love that game. Yeah. Um, you know, the success of the of the Soulsborne genre. Mm. Um, and with it being locked on PS3, not a lot of people have, have really dived into it. And because the spike sort of happened after for these style of games. Yep. So I think it would be a really smart idea. Um, I said, although personally, I would love to see Metal Gear because Metal Gear is literally trapped on PS1. Um, and like, there's a remake on GameCube, but who the fuck plays yeah. on GameCube? <laughs> Like, there is... It's not even on PS3. Like, it's on PS3 as, like, a classic, but it doesn't really... Not the same. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or, yeah, that's what I'd love to see. But it is Demon... Uh, my prediction is Demon Souls. Uh, my final one <coughs> is Death Stranding. As much as I don't want it to, we'll have a gameplay trailer. Okay. We will see not just another Kojima trailer where you're just left not knowing what the fuck's going on. You're still not going to know what's going on, mm-hmm. but there'll be some gameplay elements in, in the trailer. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I think with, they have to because we, we can't. Yeah. They can't do anymore with Kojima on stage himself. Oh, okay. Is that is that added to the? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. So gameplay trailer. Do you plus really Kojima. think Kojima is someone to sit behind the scenes while a trailer for his baby game plays and him not be out there to? Because he leeches, he leeches off the energy, <laughs> yeah. And he needs to be there for the <laughs> hype to to feel good about himself. And he's like, yeah, I'm doing the right thing, yeah. Very, yeah, very cool. Do you have any other? So we have any leftovers? Nah. That's it. Yeah, I came. I thought we were doing five, so I got five. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go. I'll run through. So these aren't predictions. The only is just what I had left on my page. Um, I had yeah, Last of Us two gameplay, which is a given because I said I've just wrote things that were things that were not. This, this is before they announced the four games they'll, that they're announcing that sort of stuff, right? Uh, so I also put their Death Stranding unnecessarily there. Um, Ghost of Tsushima will get a story trailer. Uh, Dreams will have a VR mode with a 2018 release date. No Final Fantasy VII. Uh, no mention of hardware was a given. An indie showcase. Uh, Guacamelee 2 and Concrete Jungle. 
Concrete Jungle's been quiet for a couple of years. If anything, Final Fantasy will be shown at uh, Square. Well, now that Square have their own thing, it makes sense. Uh, Black Ops 4 would get time there because they've got that marketing deal. Uh, Shenmue 3 would get a trailer, but that's that's just been brutally delayed again. So Kojima will go full Kojima till the game's release and not show gameplay at <laughs> and all. And then Zach says GameCube is peak Nintendo. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, so this is where we're going to jump. Yes, Dylan. Dylan wants to clarify. Yours? Days Gone release date? Yes, Days Gone release date. In quarter one. In, so, okay. Yeah, so Days Gone released. I'll run through them. So, as, make sure what you've got. So, my predictions are Days Gone release. Day, Days Gone will get a release date and it will be Q1 2019, which is between January to March. Number two. Which was uh, Rocksteady will announce a new game and it is a DC property. Three is uh, Medieval Remake will be uh, shown off with a 2018 release date. From, from, uh, from Software will announce uh, what the what Shadows Die Twice is what it's currently known as. Uh, it will yeah, they, they will announce what they're working on and it is not Bloodborne Two. Bluepoint and Bluepoint are working on a remake of Demon Souls. Josh, yours was show will open on orchestra. I uh, read it out loud so the chat. Yeah. So the show will open with the orchestra for Ghosts of Tsushima. I agreed with Ryan's uh, Days Gone release date, but it will be quarter four, 2018. That's two different. Yeah, that's two. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Despite what Sony said, I think they're pulling a Swifty. Because they get shat on so much for being so long that they'll be mm. like, fine, we'll tell you it's later, but give it sooner. <laughs> no, no new exclusive first party AAA stuff. Yep. Uh, VR. VR will be glossed over. Death and Death Stranding will get a gameplay trailer. This is where you guys come in, in the chat. As we said, we've got a copy of Detroit Become Human and some rad PlayStation 1 uh, coasters to give away. So for those of you that are in the chat, be sure to drop in your E3 predictions below and uh, we'll discuss them, break them down. While you do that, we'll go through the drop and then we'll come back to you guys. Oh, is that how we're doing it? Yes. Okay. Just because that gives them the time for the delay and whatnot. Okay. Uh, so the drop new PlayStation games for the 5th of June, 2018. Awkward PS4 Digital. Wasn't that last week? May have been. Possibly. Blaz Blue Cross Tag Battle PS4 Digital and Retail. The Elder Scrolls Online Somerset PS4 Digital and Retail. Homestar VR PSVR Digital. The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. PS4 Digital, MotoGP 18, PS4 Digital, Onrush, PS4 Digital and Retail, Perils of Baking, <laughs> PS4 Digital, Riddled Corpses EX, PS4, PS Vita, Digital. So they say Riddled Corpses, but there are some very scantily clad schoolgirls on that cover, so I'm <laughs> not too sure what their uh, marketing message is. Rollercoaster Legends 2, Thor's Hammer. That's an ambitious crossover, PS4 Digital. <laughs> <laughs> Shape of the World, PS4 <laughs> Digital. Shaq Fu, a legend reborn, PS4 oh, Digital. Hang on, and there's, a, there's a d- people in the doorway. What's going on? Sorry. I just want to say, did you remember that copy of Detroit and the Coasters? Mm-hmm. I've set them up so I can announce them, get it announced at the end of the stream. Who's won it? Uh, we're, we're deciding the winner's going to, as we're chatting. So, right, side note, can you put the oven on so we can cook those party pies? Yeah, Thank you. Yes. And the last game for the week, probably the biggest one, Vampire, PS4 Digital. Which you're pretty rad on, yeah? I was until I played the demo, and I think they just picked a really poor mm. like slice of the game to demo at, at PAX and EB. Um, I'll keep an eye on it, but I'll, I won't be picking it up day one. I don't have yeah. a chance on that, really. Speaking of games that apparently aren't doing too well, that Agony is apparently bombing. Really? Like, it's real butt. Like, real like butt. not a lot of people want it? No, as it in it's being reviewed poorly. Oh, man. I think I, IGN gave it a four. PS4, Agony, Metacritic. I had high hopes for this game. Oh man! Oh man! Forty-six <laughs> percent on that Metacritic. Oh, that's disgusting. And so did you also hear on were there because they were they were going to release a uh, a patch that would make it uncensored. It turns out they could all be made redundant, like be sacked and <laughs> sued heavily because they're like, "Well, fuck your ratings. We're going to release a patch that's breaking the rating that's, systems." You fu- but w- couldn't just imagine. <coughs> mm-hmm. Oh no, that wouldn't be the case actually. I so say imagine because I had to censor it that it sucks now because I had to be censored, but it's they, all over the world. But yeah, they also they everywhere. also gave you a list of what was being cut out yeah. in the censored versions, and it was it sounded kind of horrific. It's only got seven critic reviews. It's cause, yeah. So I, don't no, I think I says IGN gave it a four. I think something real part, really apparent like that. IGN don't have a review on Metacritic. Oh, for interesting. It. Well, that's that's uh, that's jump. Ryan managed to tick both the hungry and sexist boxes when he demanded the oven be started. But hey, Jess, make oven. me food. Oven on now. Oh. 
<laughs> you could see the nipples get around. Yeah, I'm like, hey, lady, do things in kitchen. <laughs> uh, all right, let's jump in. Have, we have a look here. Uh, I don't think Sam's serious, but MS is pulling their Xbox program and admitting that PlayStation is better. Very unlikely. <laughs> but I like where you're just going. E3, that Phil Spencer just comes out. He's like, we're Sorry, out. Yeah, yeah we're, we're done. Like, we, we have this Microsoft theater. Is we, 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 you know, open this to just announce this. Yeah. Sorry. But there, are, there is a popcorn stand just out the door. <laughs> please please get up your free Xbox on the way out because <laughs> we don't fucking want these anymore. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> and they go down there, not even Xbox Watch One. Watch to announce our... Not, uh, even the, not even the One X, they're all the Xbox Ones, the original VSH, uh, VHS one. Announce fucking. our entry into the laptop market. <laughs> <laughs> right next to Alienware is Xbox laptops. <laughs> uh, Blair McLaughlin says, I'm, in, I'm entirely not sure what is really coming, to, but I do enjoy the hype. It is fun hype. A demo is. says Red Dead Redemption 2 with online info. Death Stranding will be shown, but still with yet no more info, which is like I, I think is very likely. Uh, Resident Evil 2 HD slash remake will get announced. So that's been in the rumor mill for a while. Uh, new Splinter Cell will be announced and, oh, will, I and, about that. and will be more like Conviction than like Blacklist. I forgot about the um, that little leak about Splinter Cell mm. from a few weeks ago. Mm, I would have put mm. that in my predictions. That's, in, that's in my Ubi predictions, by the way. Just heads up. Oh, it is now. I just, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll put that in mine. Okay, and no, I believe I'll, you. I'll show you my page, I my phone. Yeah. Uh, Pinch says, my prediction, Valve will announce a number three game, e.g. Left 4 Dead 3 or Half-Life 3. Well, Left 4 Dead being a uh, Xbox franchise. I don't see it coming up over here and probably for PC. Uh, Damo also adds, FromSoft will say they are making Shadow Tower or making Shadow Tower 2. And Devolver Digital will yet again troll the whole idea. Okay, so these are we're getting some general predictions here, but then Dave's jumped in with asking for PS predictions. Uh, Bless is looking forward to the pop commentary of E3 when we, when we live stream all I'll those be conferences, which will be you ninety percent me for PlayStation. Uh, let's see. Uh, and Zach is still waiting for his Agony Kickstarter reward because he did back this on Kickstarter a while ago. And oh I really? Still What's the reward that he's waiting? Well, I don't for? know. What you, yeah, what are you waiting on, Zach? Uh, just says get fucked and go on home <laughs> after you turn the oven on yeah, yeah then you can go put the oven on first then you go <laughs> alright sorry um, I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mean that <laughs> uh, Justin says Splinter Cell trailer and gameplay video Red Dead gameplay with release well we know the release dates so that's a given a Wasteland 3 gameplay video and a gameplay video of Underworld Ascent Ascendant I don't know what that is I don't know what that is I'm gonna find out uh, let's see Sam says Elder Scrolls 6 I'm saving that, but not for Sony predictions. Oh, Zach's waiting for his code for the game. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's been released like four days. Come on, guys. Give us some PlayStation predictions. What we need. We want some good fucking... We, you can win some games here. Yeah, but we we're pretty much... Lot, we're talking a lot of PC here. We pretty Xbox. much dissected all PlayStation We already, did, so but I think, I think we, I think we can get ask. something out of them. Okay. We're looking at this Underworld Ascent. Yes. Things are just falling off the walls here. God, it's Literally. so hot in here, man. It's disgusting. Underworld Ascendant. From the creative minds behind the acclaimed Ultima, Underworld series, Return to the Stiggy and Abyss, and Underworld Ascendant, the R RPG designed to express creativity through playstyle choices in a breathtaking fantasy realm rife with things. Uh, Jess, uh, so uh, Chris, uh, <laughs> Dave says, dude, Jess is gone and the oven's off. Damn it! <laughs> Dave, <laughs> oven now! Uh, Sam says, Spider Man trailers. Zach jumps in with Porsche Challenge HD Remaster. And Porsche Challenge too. <laughs> and least is a new unknown, re a new unknown remake release, a la Crash slash Spyro. Something unknown. Ooh. What could it be? Well, because like I personally would still like to see, um, like, uh, what's it called, Siphon Filter, but that's very unlikely. Because Underworld like, Ascendant it's a Sony looks ben. dope. Yeah. It looks cool as. But it's a Steam game, no PlayStation's. I can play on my PC now. So what do you I? You can play on your PC now. Well, in that case. Let's see. Where do we go? Who, who gave us that one? Unless anyone can blow us away in the next, like, 30 seconds. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's look at that chat. I'm going to let you pick because I don't I do not do these kind of decisions. See, the, the Doom 5 would be nice, which is, I think that's What about possible. 4? Uh, do, technically, last year's Doom, or oh, 2015's Doom was Doom 4. Oh, really? And Justin just won himself a co promo copy of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Let's see. Let's see. Who should get themselves a copy of Days Gone? I kind of mm. want this game. I want it bad. You know what? 
because because Ferritus Maximus gave us a fucking big ass string of them. What I said, days gone, man. That'd be rad, wouldn't it? You may have a copy of a game that doesn't yet exist on retail. Uh, it goes to Ferritus Maximus. Ferritus Maximus, you win yourself a copy of Detroit Become Human on PS4. <laughs> Yeah, in three months. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you you may or may not get it in the next 12 months. (laughs) Uh, Let's see. Now, if you've got the second prize to give up, that would be... Oh, I like the balls on this one. So, in my pants, Tomb Raider market exclusive with Sony. Shown at Sony show. Nah. I liked... uh, I like the balls on that one. I liked Sean's optimism up there a little bit Sean's optimism 10 PSVR games done Sean Levitt I, want- I appreciate the enthusiasm I don't think it'll happen but I appreciate no. the enthusiasm hey, and for that you get four coasters based on PlayStation 1 games we've got Prap of the Rapper Gran Turismo Wipeout and Destruction Derby These are Sean cool ones. they are yours you can put your beverages on them do they open good like time. they're really convincing because when, when Dave brought them in I was like where the fuck did you get that mm. they're coasters but they look Look like the real thing. They are really rad. So be sure to uh, reach out to uh, Jess. Send her with my shirt. Uh, yeah, so reach out to Jess. She'll grab your details and to get that posted out to you. Actually, I think you're Jong based. We'll just go. To, we'll just give it to you. Or that. Anyways, but um, that's it. I'm pretty much done with that. <laughs> so how how do you want to do this? Mm. Because I'm gonna have a fag. Yep. That's a given. Mm-hmm. I want to have something to eat. So, yeah, but what do we want to do for that in between? I might just have to have... I want to just bring food in here. I might, yeah, I might just have to sit here and have a chat with the, with the streams while you have a smoke. Yeah, but so do you want to wrap this up, do the outro, mm-hmm. and then have a chat with the yeah, stream for 10 we, minutes? Yeah, let's do that, yeah. And then we go on to... We go into our E3 The rest of E3 yes. predictions. But we'll, which we will be interacting with the chat throughout that, correct? Yes, that is a full open discussion on that one, yep. so that's fine. Um, cool. Anyway, so do you spill and we'll get the fuck out of here. So that PlayStation conversation happened on a Monday morning at 9am Australian Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and 8am on iTunes and the other podcast services. If you'd like to be a part of that conversation, like these guys in chat now, simply join us on Facebook, join us on Discord, comment <laughs> below, pick up Dylan's shit. If you're feeling generous, join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash popcultures. Head over there, check out the tiers. There might be something there that interests you. And if you want to show your love for Pop Cultures on your body, head to popcultures.com slash shop. We can buy shirts like this one and this one and the one Dylan's wearing over there. Uh, once again, still no hats. Trying mm. to find someone we can do that. Thank you to everyone who joined us live. That's, yes, thank you cool. everyone that joined us live. Congratulations to those that won some free shit in the chat. Mm-hmm. And of course... We, the whole point of this stream is to raise money for Gen U and their applied video game program which thanks to these lovely people we have raised $465 as mm-hmm. of right now and we are barely four hours deep at mm, this point okay. we had a goal of a thousand eight hours to go and we're eight hours to go I think we're almost there we're doing fucking fantastic James is here what's going on James <laughs> okay <laughs> oh shit okay you guys there's gonna be a shirt coming in the couple next couple of weeks <laughs> you're gonna fucking piss your pants yeah. we'll keep it hush for now oh, no. oh, do, do you want to keep it hush for now that's a hush that's dope that's a hush that's a dope shirt yeah, yeah. so you like it yeah, I love it awesome, man. I Let's love see. it uh, update just from Zach just back on the agony kickstarter the whole thing has been butchered console backers no codes people missing steam keys tons of people's names not listed that's fucked man this is we should do a whole episode on Kickstarter at some point because yeah. I have kind of a lot to say. Because Kickstarter games always just never. Next never time we're strapped for a, for a topic, we'll do Kickstarter. Uh, but yeah, d- outro. Let's go. Uh, I'm yeah. Ryan Benson. I'm Ryan Benson. <laughs> I'm Josh Saunders. And that was for the players. That was the most abrupt ending to a show. Yeah, it was pretty good. Ever. Ever.